All right, folks, it's time for World War Space Quest 6. The last time we played, we, uh, we got stuck. We got stuck pretty hard in the first three screens of the game. Hopefully this time we'll get a bit further, and I think... Well, actually, I looked it up, because uh, the solution was pretty, uh, pretty bad. How many space quests are there? There are six space quests. This is the last one. So we connected the pipes. You have the guy here working on your drink. In fact, uh, we would like him to work on the drink for a while now, so I, I think we will come in and come out. We'll just wait till he's done, and then we'll we'll hook it up. Well, I'll show you guys what what we needed to do. Now I wanted oh, there we go. I wanted to hook the pipe, uh, the uh, the tubes to the pipe, and that sprays the liquid nitrogen on the Terminator-like character in the. In the basement, but it didn't work. We didn't know how to do it, and it's actually pretty dumb. Hey, what can I do for you, there, fella? What have you got? Well, this side, I got. I'll take the special. Make me a double uvula spritzer. Twist the fleck rind, and I want it hacked and whipped, not like one of those shaken or stirred sissy drinks. Oh. Okay, coming right up, Chief. Uh, listen, this will take a couple of minutes, but uh, feast your eyes on the making of it, all right? Oh, that's just fine. Take your time, my good man. All right, so you go in the back. Now you pull the pipe. You just rip it out. With a flick of your very supple wrist, you pull the conduit loose from below the valve. Oops! You get the tubing. You pick up the loose end of the... You complete the connect... Now that it's connected... You go all the way... Upstairs. Did you cheat again? I cheated the second I ended the stream last time. Also, you can steal money from the uh, the bot. If you wanted to. The <laughs> So everything's in order now. Kick open the door. You go now and hmm. did I close the uh... nitro begins to flow. Nitro begins to flow. There we go. So our friend here gets frozen. Frosta la quista, baby. Wow, it worked! This dude's in a deep freeze. But now, what are you going to do with him? So now what we're going to do... Use the pipe. Break him down. Cool. Laying a solid blow upside the head of this frigid felon has reduced him to cubes. Is not too hard to handle now. We're going to use the, uh, the pan here to pick him up. You quite cleverly whisk the cubed culprit into your dustpan. It's going to be tough to carry him this way, though. 
and in his cubed form we put him Very into good. the ice tray be much more transportable this way however you'd better hope it doesn't thaw and as the game explains we gotta find a way to freeze him Also, the, uh, bar the bartender noticing yeah. the hose attached to the bent conduit disconnects it, much to your chagrin. Talk to the bartender once again. Hey, look. Blah blah Where's blah. Well, hey. Special. Make. Open the fridge. Put our buddy into the refrigerator. Close it, and we're done. Now that's pretty much all I've looked up, because that part was... And now we got to find the guy who uh, we had a contract with. I don't know where he is, so we're going to look around. It's not here. The dumpster is near. Where is our amigo? So we can get paid and then hit the, uh, no, what we need to do is, uh, get the cheat sheet for our, uh, for the video game. That's what we're going to do. And what we will do is buy some alcohol for the, uh, for the guy who was selling the cheat sheet, this guy. Gotta find the agent, which, uh, like I said, I don't know where he is. Might be in the bar, though. He can't hear you. What's up, man? I wonder if there's anything here we can pick up. They're just some no deposit cartons of re. I wonder if these spiders. You found your way to the not so spiffy basement of the nightclub. Humorous. You found your. That would. You summon the ability. It will. Don't pick. Don't mess with it. You drool in that. You start to see something. They're cut. If we can pick that up. You pick up. Okay. No, never mind. Oh, there he is. No, that's not him. Hey! He ignored. Where is he?
Maybe we need to call him. So we did say he would be by the lamppost, if I remember well. It wouldn't be. You can't. Maybe we just need to stay here. No. Where is our fine friend? The couch and chairs seem to be made. Your utterances. You drew. Could he be? This is an interesting billboard. You... Well, maybe Deep it's him. inside, he chuckles to himself with the thought that you think he might actually care. No, it's not him. The blue door is an option. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I got a knock on the door. It won't budge. You can't despite You can't read You can't Another Orion's belt. Time for cheater 1x. Um Thinking about it, where the hell did he go? He must be in the bar, right? Oops. Hey, 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 yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. The converse. G act. Can't you see your word? No one here. You get. You. Yeah, we got a tiny bit further. I wouldn't... I wouldn't... I wouldn't risk your other... A tiny bit. To be fair, though... The, uh... Well, maybe I gotta... Take it out of the fridge. Oh. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Uh, what can? What if you got? Well, this. Oh. Oh. The re oh, there he is. Here's your cubed compadre. Where's my 50 buckazoids? No bull. You really got him, eh? Uh, I, I mean, good job. Yeah, I really got him. And I could really use my 50 buckazoids. Tell you what. I'll pay you when they pay me. No. I need the money now. Or I let the guy thaw right here. Right now. Oh my. Strong arming. No, just a minute. You don't want to do that. Hold on to your elementary contents. I got it here, I got it here. Here, you happy? I'll just be taking that tray. Been a special treat doing business with you. 
Oh boy. All right, so with that, we can now buy the alcohol. Got the 20 there, Buster? Otherwise, you can... I do have the 20. I'd like a bottle of your cold Saurian brandy, please. Well, so you're interested in the good stuff, eh? I'll just take that 20. Thank you. I haven't sold much of this stuff lately, except for some sorry looking little pud. <laughs> oh, hey, that reminds me. He still owes me some money. No, oh, I can't believe I fell for that scam. Oh, well, enjoy. <laughs> Sucker. It's not a very nice, uh, nice guy. Give him the bottle. Yes. Uh, oh, I mean, Mr. Wilco, I'm most pleased you've chosen to do business with us. You're just in time, too. I have another party on his way interested in the same item. Oh, well, his loss. Well, I'll take that off your hands. Uh, now, per our agreement, here's your cheat sheet. I'm certain you'll find the game much more interesting now. Also, you look like you could use this fish. This fish? Enjoy, Mr. Wilco. I have a real important business in another part of town. Be seeing you. It looks vaguely like your hiney after it's been chewed out by your boss. It's the Stooge Fighter 3 cheat sheet you got from Elbow. To guarantee a win, the cheat sheet says, when at the choice screen, press the machine's letter buttons in the following order. A, B, B, A, C, A, C, A. Then, be aggressive and attack as much as possible using your new secret weapon. Oh my. A B B A C A C A. Oh no. Hi, Mr. Jerkwad. How about another game of Stooge Fighter? I'm feeling a little luckier this time. <laughs> you know, kid, I'd really like to, but I need a little more of a challenge. Take a long walk off a short asteroid, okay? What's the matter? Afraid a measly little pencil-necked low-life janitor and general waste of human life is going to embarrass you in front of your friends? Well said. Hold on there, you little puke! I'm not oh, afraid of some snap. puny little zit on the butt of the universe! Jerkwad is a scaredy cat! Jerkwad is a scaredy cat! Alright, you little wad of spit, let's play. I'll waste you, tell you what. <laughs> let's make it interesting. If you win, I'll give you 300 buckazoids. However, if I win, you're mine to do with as I uh -oh. see fit. Uh-oh. I hope we don't lose. Oh, this is gonna be fun! Oh, <laughs> you're a bit puny, but I'm sure I'll be able to get a few buckazoids for you over at the slave colony. I'm sorry. I don't think I heard you quite right. Did you say, uh, slave colony? Too late to back out, bored breath. Bored breath? I knew that.
All right, let's go with uh, Larman. Let's get ready to rumble! DDR Jake. my money can't believe he's actually paying you here now if I were you I'd make myself scarce you little lump of phlegm otherwise I'm gonna lose my temper and all that's gonna be left of you is teeth and toenails all right so rich and with our newfound money, we're going to go get a room at the hotel. Because it costs us like 300 bucks or something. Okay, son, you just scribble your old Bill Shatner on the register screen and I'll get your key card. As fine a room as you'll find on this orb. You have a brief moment of what you think is cleverness. You decide to wittily sign the name Franzel Niekburn. Okay, here's your key card. Don't lose it. Room 1220J. Up the elevator. 1220J. Franzel Niekburn. If I had a buckazoid for every time I'd seen that name, I'd be sitting pretty. I could afford one of those fancy fur lined donut thingies that. But, uh, what was I saying? Anyway, enjoy your stay. If you need anything, don't hesitate to tell someone. Gee, thanks. Say, could you tell me where. I'm a real busy guy, son. You got any questions? Why don't you just go. Find the Chamber of Commerce and talk to them. I'm sure they'll be glad to help you out. Be seeing ya. Oh, it's a robot cat shooting the mice. That's adorable. All right, 1220J. Just as you're about to insert the key card so you can go inside and check out your new digs, you notice those two goony looking dudes from the lobby walking in your direction at a rather deliberate pace. Perhaps they're going to welcome you to the place or show you where the ice machine is. Hey there, pal. Got a second? Me and my friend here was wondering something. Uh-oh. Fire away. What did you want to know? Well, we was wondering if you'd have any objection to us pounding you senseless. 
Grab them and let's get moving. I gotta report in soon. You puny little scumbag. I can't believe anyone would want you. One thing's for sure, you sure ain't gonna be seeing your home son ever again. Hey, Nigel, let's get back to it, huh? We got things to do and places to go. Now, just sit there and be still and be quiet, little man. I've got some things to finish before I finish you. Why would you put the keys right there? Alright, we got captured and we gotta find a way out of here. Your captors have obviously been drinking mass quantities of that new imported beer, Takati Wormhole. This little unit is a portable dehumidifier. When you're a guy like Singent, who sweats like a bicranial crud snorter, you need one of these things going all the time. You don't see any way of turning the dehumidifier. You can't reach th That's d The room seems to be either that or someone. You can't reach the You have no idea where this place is, but it's nice to see that grunge has finally hit the interior decorating industry. It's a short pile. Don't pick it. Hey, what the fu- I don't want to see you move another inch or I'm gonna slice you into nice little bite-sized pieces. Now can it? You are now a proud nail owner. Yeah. The room seems to... Good thinking. The nail proves to be just what you needed to free yourself from those handcuffs. Don't get all excited, little Red Riding Hood. You aren't out of those woods yet. Okay. Now I think I gotta stop the dehumidifier. You won't be needing any empty can. You won't. You don't see any. You pinch yourself to make. I better not. Tr the room seems to be vibrating very slightly. This would probably indicate a damping field in operation somewhere close by. Either that or someone downstairs is using a pro shiatsu. It looks like a plug receptor. Plug receptor? This is the data quarter you got from that endodroid hunter. Surprisingly, that's one of those devices. It would. Don't pick. The room seems to be either. The room. It. You have no idea where this place is, but it's nice. Nail in the Don't brain. Don't even bother looking in. Hey, you know what? Why Don't not? even bother looking in your pockets. You are carrying oh, nothing. No, we Nada. lost the nail. Z this alien woman looks to be in very bad shape. Her pupils are fixed and dilated. Her body is stiff, almost as if she's dead. And her skin looks tight and puffy, as if bodily gases are building up inside her. Bandages and patches appear in profusion all over her, and some of her seams look like they're about to give way. You make a mental note to come back and rescue this poor woman. Teddy Schmuckspin, a popular children's toy, sits on the floor. If you weren't a popular child, you didn't get one. It's a burlesque. It's a burl. This little unit is a portable dehumidifier. When you're a guy, this little unit. That's del. That. W her skin feels puffy and rubbery, as if her internal body pressure has risen. 
It must be Regalian bladderwort fever. Hmm. That's one of those devices for catching. That. W Don't touch that. Don't use you. Don't. T what do you want to do? Give him a nice massage? Wise up. This guy values you less than Starcon does. The room seems to either that or someone does. Hmm. What can we do here? Surprisingly, it's a pile of... Your captors have obvious... This keypad undoubtedly controls the doorway. We gotta do something with this, but How what... How groovy! They've got a knee... This alien... You make a man... A beautiful thick... The room seems either that or some. It feels like. Okay, we got some clothing. It probably. Boy, wouldn't it. It boy would that's a it would appear that oh I got an idea as cool as cool yep. it's Kathy Meyerland an attractive model with gills from one of those stinky swamp like planets like Madoria or Slimeon or Muxalon 4 hmm you have no idea where this place is, but it... This alien... You may... That's an interest... It... It would... They ripped off an alien... You summoned... The room... Either that... The room's... Either... Don't... That's... That's one of those devices for catching wayward audio-video signals from distant galaxies. You once saw horribly violent transmission on one of these, where strange-looking aliens mercilessly struck each other in vulnerable areas, while others looked on in enjoyment. Yeah, it definitely. It was called America's Funniest Home Videos. Very weird. You carefully lay the rug on the floor. Even though you were never known for your interior decorating talents, you feel very satisfied with the location you have chosen. Okay. So we're building up static electricity. So we can zap him in his... Uh... Your body is now carrying a nice static charge. <laughs> so dumb. Wow, the static energy you built up discharged, frying Lard Boy's circuitry. Did you actually think of that, or was it just luck? Oh, let's not answer that. Smooth move. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty strange. That would... You don't... You now possess the modding... It's a burlesque modi. I don't know what that means. That's an interesting... It would... This optical disc-based multi... It does nothing until you insert a... It does... It does not... As cool as it... Act... 
You have no I'm not touching that. And you The desk field. It's apparently pro Don't pick Is there anything the else? We either can that do? don't that's sorry. Beside the you it even though it's Well, 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 the worm is out of the hole. So, you have to ask yourself, do I feel lucky? Well, do I punk? Guess so. It probably seemed like... This box is full of daddies. That is, a modules which, when inserted into intercranial slots, give the user complete knowledge of whatever topic is programmed into that particular daddy. What? You rummage around in the box to look for something useful, but all you find is an almost complete set of line dancing in zero-G daddies. Only volume two, the achy breaky, appears to be missing. This controller controls the controls on the subspace neurotransmitter. Jeez. Is this guy a control? Excellent guess. It pro This con- Jeez. There is nothing wrong with a subspace neurotransmitter control controller. Do not attempt to adjust the controller. We are controlling transmission. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. We can change your mind to a soft blur or- Okay. The room's- Unfortunately, your brainwave pat. Unfor. Un. Don't touch that. A box. A mask. But you already knew. Th Another one of those form. That wouldn't. This monomine oxidase inhibitor brightens up an otherwise depressed. Ah. This appears to be some sort of. Oh. Okay, I imagine if I go out of here, I get zapped. You poke and prod amongst the Mahdi's until you find a Mahdi labeled Churlish. Being intrigued, incidentally, you might want to look up the word Churlish before you do anything stupid. Nothing happens. See, most games would just give you a generic response when you try some. <laughs> Nothing. That's an. Wow, he really cracked <laughs> your can. Pretty impressive. Maybe not from your point of view, of course. Let's try again. You not that wouldn't don't pick the room either that it feels like the room either you're reasonably well 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 yeah. You poke and a mu- ins- Excellent! It probably- You poke around- You rummage around- The room- You some- Go away! So he does not care about us. A massive subspace neurotransmitter fills the desk. But unfortunate. You pick through the cart. Nothing. Oh, maybe.
Excellent. As cool as it would be. Maybe we can reprogram it. Excellent. Your captors. This optical disc based multi. It's called. Surprisingly, it's a pile of books. It's cap. Sorry, Miss. Use. Her skin. It probably see. It. You don't see any way. Hmm. It feels that would. So what can we do? Oh, there might be a disc there. The room seems either. The room. Boy, would that. It does nothing until you insert. The room seems. What was that? You have no idea where this place is, but it's nice to see that grunge has finally hit the. It's this. This button ejects whatever CD. It does. Well, we need a CD, I guess. I don't really see anything, though. That's one of those devices. It was. Teddy. Teddy. Sh Surprise. Don't. The desk. It. Yours. A multimedia phone book. Too bad that. The room seems to be either the. You have no idea where. You have no idea. It's one of those wads of lard you ran into at the inn. You don't know what that is. Hmm. What can we do here? It's like two. Your read. It's only two rooms, so... And I started with nothing. So I'm very limited with what I can do here. Do anything? No. Nope. Another one of that's still that isn't that isn't within that isn't what is that? A small decorative novelty lamp displays bolts of electronic discharge. A small this mono this is a serotonin reuptake inhibitor for the subspace neurotrans. Don't go messing with it. You could create a chemical imbalance and depress an entire planet. Ooh, did we just catch a glimpse of Space Quest 7's plot? You briefly consider adjusting the serotonin reuptake inhibitor, but hey, you've been kidnapped. No way you're going to provide free maintenance service to these guys. Unfortunately, your brainwave patterns are far too puny to benefit from even this unit's powerful positronic amplifier. Hmm. You pick through the nothing. You rummage your. You poke. Don't touch that. Don't. Don't mess with it. Unfortunately, unf there is nothing. You pinch yourself to. You've never been a big CW fan. In fact, it is your belief that country and western music was outlawed hundreds of years ago in an attempt to reduce alcoholism. Oh. Unfortunately, you. This appears to be some sort of control room. Okay. A desk lamp. There's no time to mess with that. The room seems to be either that or the room's it. Don't touch. You. You won't be needing any empty cans. A gas mask won't help you in the. I'm trying messing with the chips. Nothing happens. Nothing. 
nothing. That label. The corner of the label in this Mahdi seems to be loose. Nothing ha- Oh. Oh, oh, oh. The answer is always mouth. I think we're gonna get a burlesque uh, captor here. Thinking it was the churlish Madi, he pops it in place. Oh. No. Oh, no. Unfortunately, that's delight. It's Nigel's belt, complete with a damping field actuator and a nifty personal grooming assistant. Oh no. This is a personal grooming assistant. It's the da Boy, wouldn't it be cool if that really worked? Yuck. It's the hair you pulled from Nigel's personal grooming assistant. It's the belt. It probably seemed like a. It probably. Axel. Can I not use that? It's the. De All right. That opens that. The only problem is we don't have any CD. It feels unfortunately a massive subspace neurotransmitter fills the desk. But you all this can <laughs> you have no her skin feels puffy and rubber. This appears to be a damping field controller unit. At least it looks like most of the other damp. Thank goodness, now that you've got that damping field shut off, you can check out that damping field controller unit so that maybe you can shut off that, that. Oh yeah, that's a real sound idea. You have no reason to check out the damping field controller unit now. Womp womp. The room is no longer. You know the old saying, if the monomine knock as if you could. You summon the ability. That isn't unfort un un You pick nothing. Is there anything else here? Un that's del There is nothing wrong. You summon You briefly Alright, let's get out of here. Boy, this terrace is a nice change from the stink-laden confines of that apartment. The room is no longer... I mean, you gotta, right? The room is... Boy, this terrace... The cityscape stretch... Ah. Pretty. Well, there's no exit, so what's the plan? The room is no. The room is.
Excellent get. The room is. Boy, this terror. Boy, the room is. The room is. Boy, this. Maybe the teleporter needs a DNA feed. Yeah, but where's the teleporter? Boy, this. Boy. That's an in. That's an excellent. It would. It would appear that it. Excellent. Ex. No, that's just. No, no, yuck. So what am I supposed to do here? It pop You summon. That would. The death. Unlike before, the room no longer gives either that or the batteries in someone's pro shiatsu. Don't. Don't. What do you want to do? Give him a nice massage. It's one of those wad. What are you going to talk to him about? This controller controls the controls on the subspace neurotransmitter. Jeez. A massive subspace neurotransmitter fills... But you already knew... This appears to be some sort of control room. There's a landing platform beyond the damping field induction coils in the archway. Is there something I'm not seeing here? As cool. This appears a massive, but you already know. Unfortunately, your brainwave patterns are far too puny to benefit from even this unit's powerful positronic amplifiers. There is nothing wrong with a subspace neuro. Unfortunately, you pick through the cart. Nothing. The internet says the handbook that came with this game can solve this here. Oh, okay. Give me a second. I can I can open up the handbook. Uh, take a second. Space Quest Manual.
There's nothing here. Who lied to me? Pages 7 to 12. sense that space quest one seeing it there's nothing here the data quarter. Trying to look through the the uh, the stuff here, but uh, there's no uh, no copy protection for this. Well, at least not in the the manual. called janitorial hotspots. through the files right now and I'm not seeing anything. 
Thanks, Space Quest Collection. Internet says some versions of GOG, for example, are missing it. Well, that's silly. This button opens and closes. This button. All right, guess I'll uh, look it up on the internet then. It is pretty great. It's fantastic, even. This circuit board is not... This is the right thing to do. It's not transmitting very well from here. Maybe I should try a different place. Oh, we got it. button to
Stellar, you picked up my homing signal. Uh, I can't believe I actually made it work. Now no one can say I spent a little bit too much free time in the bathroom with Popular Tektronics. Popular Tektronics? Who are you trying to kid? I know what you were reading in there. What, what was that playing? voice, Roger? I thought I heard something. Pay no attention, Stellar. It was probably just a mechanical flatulence from the ship. Anyway, we received a transmission from a nearby Starcon communications monitoring platform. They told us of some unusual signal originating from the area of Polysorbate 60. We dialed it in, scanned the coordinates, and found you. So what are you doing in this sector, Stellar? I thought you were stationed on the SCS Heinz 57. I am. I had some leave accumulated and decided to take it. Uh, this is kind of embarrassing for me. Oh my. I actually came to see you. I've been thinking about you a lot lately, and I was curious about what you'd been up to, so I decided to visit. And when I arrived here, I found you had just left for shore leave on polysorbate. I decided to follow you down and try and catch up with you. When I got to that dump of an inn and found you'd been kidnapped by those thugs, I searched around, but could find no trace of where they'd taken you. That certainly is a strange place. I decided to beam back up to the deep ship and try to locate you through your transport communicator signal. When I'd returned, I found you'd left it up here on the ship. I didn't know what to do then until that call came through from the Starcon installation. You're a lucky man, Wilco. Uh, yeah. I, I guess I am. If you hadn't gotten there when you did, I'd probably be a victim of some serious cement poisoning after those geeks chucked me off that balcony. Terrace. What? Well, actually, it was a terrace. Whatever. Actually. Thanks, I sure owe you a big one. I'd sure like to collect that sometime. But let's talk about you and me. Perhaps I could take you to dinner sometime soon. I'd like that, Stellar. I'd like that a lot. The thing is that I kind of have a kind of a relationship with another, and I wouldn't feel very comfortable about that. I mean, it, it wouldn't be fair to her. You understand? Not to mention the fact I'd be wearing my sphincter for a necklace if Beatrice ever found out. I hope you do understand, Stellar. I like you. I, I think I even more than like you. I, I don't know where I got this inordinate sense of loyalty toward Beatrice. I believe the word that explains that is fear. Pound sand, pal. Please know that were the situation any different, I'd be making that date with you right now. Oh, I see. Friends, co-workers, buddies. That's all this is gonna be. I guess I knew it somewhere inside. I just Shut her down. It. Roger! I guess I admire your trueness of heart, however misplaced. But I feel much more inclined to damn you for it. I know, that's selfish, but it's how I feel. I must admit it shows something more about you, more depth of character than I gave you credit for, Wilco. Well, I'm patient, if you ever have a change of heart. Well, Roger, uh, we should, uh, we should see what we can find out about those subhuman walking dumpsters that had such a keen interest in you. I don't suppose you heard their names. No, uh, but I did get this neat personal grooming assistant. It needs a little cleaning, but... That's great, Roger. Don't clean it, though. Take it to the sick bay. There's a DNA analyzer there. We can scan the contents and perhaps use the results to get some names and information about these guys. Good thinking, Stellar. I probably would have thought of it, eventually. Yeah, I'm sure you would have, Roger. Look, I've got to go to sick bay and get some treatment from my back after that not-so-graceful rescue. Oh, yeah, that. Uh, sorry. Well, uh, I'll see you there.
Commander. I am receiving a message from Starcon. Computer on screen. Is that a SNES control? Hello, Commander Kilbasa. I have a new directive for Deep Ship 86. This is actually a special request from me, Commander. As you may know, I served with Admiral Blundfang during the Fallopian Campaign. Admiral Blundfang's widow is involved in building an off-world retirement community. They are almost finished, but have requested assistance from Deep Ship 86. Commander, please extend her every courtesy. You know, if things go well, this would not look too bad in your personnel file. I will let Sharpay, the Admiral's widow, explain further. Hello, Commander Kilbasa. As Admiral Toolman mentioned, we have almost completed our project here, but could use Starcon assistance. To be honest, Commander, I pulled a few strings, but this is an important mission. I assure you, since you are scheduled to be present for the dedication of the Golden Light Years Retirement Center anyway, I hoped you might alter your travel plans to accommodate an earlier arrival. From the information provided me by my old friend, the Admiral, you would be able to warp here within a few hours. I require some assistance from your ship, as well as one of your crew members. Allow me to explain. Yeah, this doesn't sound like a trap Meanwhile, at all. back in the sick bay. As cool as it, boy. Boy, would excellent. Hey, don't. Your words cause everything to become. You start to say. So I gotta do it on my own. I'm sorry, Mr. Wilco. The sequencer is for use by trained personnel only. Obviously, you don't fit that description. I'm afraid I can't allow you to use it. Ah, uh, come on, Jabba. Be a pal. Who'll know? I'm sorry, Mr. Wilco. It's a Starcon regulation. Well, do you want to do it for me? It would appear that... It's just a... It's just a crate. It's a scale. Don't... Don't touch that. We do Many things rest on the center console. Most of them are merely non-functional screen dressing. Pretty cool looking, eh? It feels... That... This button's there. Don't touch... Do you want to do my work? Excellent. It's a medibunk. This is where all ill or injured crew members are treated. It's also where they bring all the guys in the red shirts, or what's left of them, after they've suffered their inevitable calamities. It's soft. It's soft. It's soft, yet firm. <laughs> What are you touching there, Roger? Roger? It's a case of... It feels slightly... It wouldn't be... It wouldn't be prudent to do that at this juncture. Yeah, the guy said he doesn't want to let me do it. I'm sorry, Mr. Wilson. Ack. I'm... It's a scale. It's a scale. 
No, you can't weigh yourself. Apparently, the duck. It's soft. It's soft. You start to say something and then you dr You start your word, your utterance. That wouldn't. That's d it would. Don't that. As cool as it would appear. Do you want the fish? It's. Don't pick. You summon the ability to leap. Don't. Don't pick. As cool. It pop. As cool. Probably something I gotta do. It's a but... It's soft. It wouldn't be. Peace, Jebba. Who's gonna know? Let me try this one thing. I'll be out of your way. Nope. I don't know, Mr. Wilco. I'm not one to break regulations. I swear, it'll only take a minute. We're out in the middle of nowhere. No one will find out. And I'll tell you what. Anytime you want it, one free plunge job. Day or night? What do you say? Well, I don't know. It'll only take a minute or... Well, okay, but just this once. If anyone finds out I'm sunk, then I'll come looking for you to take it out on. No problem. I really don't know. And something's gonna happen. at it it feels slightly you some it would okay I have a data card what does that do this is the program card you got from sick bay you get fingerprints all of boy that's an that's a it would appear that it would as cool it would Hmm. You got what you wanted. I'm really quite. Your utterance. You. Dr it's a medi. You summon. It's okay, man. It's like, it feels like I'm banging my head on every puzzle here. Neat. I've always wanted to try one of these on the compost. Oh. Okay. Oh, hi Stellar. I hope your back's feeling better. They just finished treating me, and it is starting to feel better. However, I was told to lay off rescuing people for a while, especially you. So, did you have any luck? I got some information from the sample I ran through the DNA sequencer. When I tried it, all I got was a name. All it said after that was that the file is closed. I wonder why that is. I don't know for sure, Roger, but it seems a bit suspicious. When a file is marked like that, there's usually a very good reason. Most frequently, it indicates the file is closed for intelligence purposes, or it's legally sealed by some judicial body. In the case of those tubs of guts that grabbed you, I'd have to say it's not a government agency directly behind it. it sounds more like someone with access from the outside to a friend or two inside. 
A more paranoid person might say this smells way wrong. Then again, when did you last change your socks? If the files are sealed, then we have nothing to go on. True. The only thing I can think of is that they may be accessible by jacking into cyberspace. I've never done it, but I know it can be done. So I guess this means you won't be trying it first. Uh, I mean, I I'd love to try it, but I can't since uh, we don't know how. Well, actually, I read it can be done with the help of a cyber jack and headset and a cyberspace jack interface module. The article said there are several things to access out there and that there's a vast library of files to browse. It said that the Information Superhighway project is a little behind schedule, but that there are some operative areas. Other than that, I don't have a clue as to how we can gain any information about them. <laughs> so you think this cyberspace thing could work? Well, I can only tell you what I've read. Navigating it takes a little patience, but I think it's the only option you have. I don't know if you'll locate a cyberjack and headset. Because of the delays in the project, they've become more like collector's items than marketable, functionable products. We do have cyberjack modules built into the compost. That's true. Of course, we won't know anyway without the jack. That bites. I wonder where we could find one of those. I wish I knew, Roger. There must be some place. Attention! We are now orbiting the Delta Berxelon 5 colony as requested by Starcon. Most of you know your assignments as they have been broadcast to your composts. Please represent Starcon properly. Kilbasa, out. You better get moving since you don't know yet what your assignment is. I have some checking around to do. We'll talk later. I mean, Thanks, Stellar. I'll see you soon. It can't be Shadowrun without the beeping. Maybe we can work in that uh, dinner. Roger. Typical Roger. with it the batteries are dead and there's no alien language here to tr that's all our uh... wow it's the old translating gadget you used to communicate with the subterranean alien back on the planet corona in space quest one Whoa. too bad they don't make those little dilithium watch batteries anymore Ooh, it's your old auto bucks card from your shopping spree at the galaxy galleria after you save the latex babes from that hideous sea slug in space quest four it's expired, unfortunately, but then you don't need much money aboard the deep ship. Besides, people would talk if they saw you dressed that way again. <sighs> Say it's the old hint book you found in the bargain bin at the software store in Space Quest 4. You won't need that hint book. You've already won Space Quest 4, haven't you? The table appears to be... You won't need to take the Autobox card. It's kind of like a Royal Caribbean. Looky, it's your old Labion Terror Beast mating whistle from Space Quest 2. You won't be. What? Oh, it's the Star Generator remote control you found aboard the Serian ship during Space Quest 1. It's all our old stuff. Unless there happens to be a Star Generator in the immediate vicinity. And there isn't, so there won't. Hey, it's the Pocket Pal Terminal you filched from an abandoned land speeder on Xenon during Space Quest 4. Remember that? The Pocket Pal will be of no use to you whatsoever. It's AC, and the ship is DC. This table is supposed to, since you do... It's a discarded cigar stub from the Galaxy Galleria in Space Quest 4. Hey, here's that pack of matches you stole from the Yulin Splats bar when you returned to Space Quest 1 during the time travel sequence <laughs> in Space Quest 4. So oddly specific. Wow, it's your official employment rejection letter from Sierra Online at the end of Space Quest 3. It just says, not a chance. And it's signed by Ken Williams. That cigar butt is a piece of your history. You would no sooner carry it around than you would your golden mop. 
You've long since used up all the matches in this book. You won't need it. It's reminding you of your inadequacy just fine where it is. Golden Mop. Holy cow! It's your Golden Mop Award for your feats of daring do in Space Quest 1. You had tickets to see Quasar live in concrete with Beatrice. That was before you got busted back down to janitor and assigned to this dad blasted floating heck hole of a mother talking spaceship. A note, this game has scrupulously avoided any rough language that would result in having to be rated as an adults only computer or video game by the game censorship board of the US Senate subcommittee. Damn you censorship board. That mop is a piece of your history. You saw this detailed diecast model of an early StarCon Solar Scout in Milky Way today, StarCon's in-flight magazine. It seemed like a great investment at the time. This poor dresser hasn't worked. Wait, were you looking at yourself or at the bureau? Well, same message either. Your quarters are co- That's one of the advantages of living in a converted cargo hold. This poor dr wait, were you this poor dresser hasn't worked right since they hauled it on board. Wait, were you looking at yourself or at the bureau? Well, same message either way. Ah, your old Xenon army knife from Space Quest 1, in which you destroyed the powerful star generator which had fallen into the hands of the evil kleptomaniac Sarian. Leave it alone, it's not a toy. Besides, you'd probably cut yourself like last time. You summon the ability. Your quarters are... That's one of them. Your quarter... That, that's odd. You don't remember having a second pair of pants? Maybe you've got an evil twin from a parallel universe walking around the ship naked. <laughs> These are your boots. Wait a second. You're already wearing your boots. Hmm. Very suspicious. Leave them where they are. You've been meaning to do this... It's a medical reference of janitor-specific ailments. Diseases of the janitalia. Mm. Now's no time to... Your quarters are... That... You summon the... You've got a Quattrozebi portable quartz heater set up in here. Looks like you have a... Wow. A message for me. I must be getting popular. I wonder what it is. Wilco, Commander Kilbasa here. I have a special assignment for you. A crew person of special skills is required on Delta Berxelon 5. In the spirit of StarCon cooperation, we have decided to offer them your assistance. Transport there immediately. Kilbasa out. Sad trombone. Womp womp. Oh, okay. Well, we're not gonna do that just yet. There's probably more stuff to check out here. These controls open and close the closet. Perform passive handprint IDs to prevent unauthorized entry. Monitor its... You never learned how to work these controls. That's why you keep everything that should be in the closet scattered around the room. <laughs> oh, Roger. Feels clean for... Don't pick... Feels... Feels clean. Is this? Your food replicator is a nightmare of pooled sticky stuff, dried on gunk, dents, dings, and roach droppings. In fact, the computer's self-survival circuitry cut in days ago and turned off service to your room. This is the screen used to display the numbers as you enter. Well, I imagine. Two. Don't try to get anything out of this machine. You'll only succeed in getting your fingers stuck to the replicator again. Don't try to. Don't try to get... Your food replicator is a... You place a finger in the hole and wiggle it about. Nice shot! Only you were aiming for the keypad. The access panels are all... T yes, people... Don't try to get anything out of this. Don't try to get it. The access panels are all tightly sealed to keep people who don't know what they're doing away from the controls. Yes, people like you. Your food replicator is a nightmare. Okay, uh, is there anything I can do here? It probably see it probably as 
Your food. Don't try to get. Work, darn you. Replicate me something. Work, darn. Replicate. I command thee. You have no power here. Okay. We didn't make this game just so you could crawl into bed and go back to sleep. Be productive. Oh, man. Sticky. Sure, go ahead. Grab that red hot spike of quartz so it'll fuse your hand permanently to the heater. That's the plan. It's a four socket recursive current subspace grounded socket devoid of it. This is a Beetlejuice clamoring hagfish fern. You've tried everything you could think of to get it back to health. Unfortunately, all you could think of to do was to stand over it and say, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. The closet so. isn't worth open. Not. It feels like... You get... Oh, let's check out the other areas. Janitor Wilco, why are you here? You're supposed to have gotten your orders from your compost as instructed and reported to transport for beaming to Delta Berxelon 5. Do it now, or I'll be forced to make you the subject and recipient of a captain's log entry. Now move it. Oh, it's a cat bed. And there's it's cat Commander litter Gilmas's here. It's Commander Gilmas's kitty litter box. This is where he makes most of his best command decisions. Not to mention all of his log entries. Okay, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Summon the ability. What is you this? Mr. Soylent. This is a standard trans warp class starship food replicator where the Starcon elite meet to eat. Sure does. Cell 106 is infamous for the permanent blood stain on the floor. That stain came into being when Red Bovine, a Ferbangi slave trader, tried to escape by crawling out the porthole and immediately imploded. <laughs> That's why they refer to it as the Red Blood Cell. Oh, man. Inside this cell is the creature from the Ego, a bizarre, invisible monster caught on Rialto 4. It's violent, brutal, bloodthirsty, and is a sucker for insincere flattery. Don't talk to the bed. Hey, handsome. 
Let's see that pretty little face. Impressive. <laughs> Game is so dumb. All right. Sell one of that's the sink appears to be malfunctioning. One of these days, you'll have to get around to asking someone to fix it. But then again, the prisoners in the brig don't really deserve such luxuries, do they? <gasps> oh, the humanity. This is 8 Rear, the ship's lounge. Here crew members come to relax, drink, eat, converse, party, hit on each other, brawl, hurl, pass out, and intrude on each other's personal space. Hey, what's Don't up, guys? interrupt them. They're on break. Besides, you stand less of a chance of being insulted or shot down. A guy can only take so much of that. Don't interrupt them. They're... Don't interrupt them. An unusual plant specimen that someone left behind, it appears to be thriving here. Perhaps it prefers beer and popcorn to fertilizer and you grow it lamps. Hollow cabana. I need codes, which I don't have. Mmm, a nice fatty donut. Magnum will probably scarf this down. After all, he needs to maintain his boyish tub of guts figures. Magnum doesn't talk. He fancies himself to be like one of those Buckingham Palace types. You consider saying hi until you remember how dedicated he is to his job. And you wouldn't want him to get in trouble for slacking off while on duty. I want You consider I wonder why you don't worry about that for yourself. This is the end. It it feels like don't touch you can't steal the donut shit game okay I'm ready Energize. <laughs> Commander Kielbasa and that other guy look like they're just finishing up a conversation. Janitor Wilco, Dr. Bellows and I were just talking about you. Please report to Sharpay's quarters, Janitor Wilco. She is in need of someone with your special skill set. Be quick about it. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, Dad. <laughs> You 
press the lab B button, but the Ascendo pad doesn't move. So it won't open. I didn't want to go to lab B anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez, you're not looking so hot there, Janitor, lady. second class. Roger Wilco, reporting as ordered, ma'am. Wilco, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, Mr. Wilco, I expected you here some time ago. I've been kept waiting for minutes now. I'm very sorry, Matt. Ugh. Save the pathetic whimperings for your Starcon superiors, which I would expect includes everyone and everything on the food chain over there. Ma'am, I came as... Young man, I lack the time, and most importantly, the patience to indulge you as you whine your way from one excuse to the next. May we please just begin? Sorry, but I wasn't briefed on what tasks would be required of me. You are a janitor, Mr. Wilco. What do you think I want from you, a heart transplant? <sighs> what has become of Starcon? When my fifth husband, Admiral Bluntthang, served, the crop of up-and-coming cadets seemed to have such promise. Ah, I recall this one rather striking cadet. Oh, oh. well, never mind that. But you... I pray you do not typify what might be slithering down the halls of our formerly prestigious academy. That is one thing I do not look forward to witnessing. Get to work, Mr. Wilco. You'll find a mop and a bucket right over there. I have no time to devote to your education. That would take a lifetime, and the most copious amount of patience a universe could muster. My life is soon to expire. Please, just clean. I must rest now. Eight. Maybe we can shove the mop in her face. Like you need an... The sweat. This is what someone who loves his job looks like. Mr. Wilco, please rattle the handle on that commode. It is positively maddening. You got it, Toot. Um, uh, I mean, right away, ma'am. Whatever I can do. Please do it. And quietly. I must have my rest. Don't pick. It would. That would. You summon the ability. That's delight. Don't. Mr. Wilco, it is time for me to take my meds. Please fetch my trisonic sortium from the medicine cabinet. Yes, ma'am. Maybe I can get this old hag to overdose. What was that, janitor? Uh, nothing, ma'am. I I'll get those for you right away. I can't find her medicine. I don't think she knows what she's talking about. Hey, what the... While we await a fully formed thought from Roger, it should be mentioned that there seems to be some sort of gas entering the room through the left vent. Hey, there seems to be some sort of gas entering the room through the left vent. I seem to be in a world of deep... Ah, oh, jeez, the door! Rats, it won't budge. I've got to get out of here somehow. No windows. The walls are solid bulkhead, and I'm too big to flush myself out of here. This is the only way. What would MacGyver do now? 
Yeah, you just can't get enough of that. That wouldn't. Don't pick. Don't. That's not going to. That's not going to. You summon the ability to leave it. It feels slightly gritty. <coughs> that wouldn't prove fulfilling. You don't need it, and you aren't here to play with stuff. That's an interesting idea. <laughs> Not a good one, but... Don't touch that. It wouldn't... It's a... That's... D it feels slightly gritty. You... Don't pick at... You summon... Don't... Don't pick at it. It wouldn't be... Pr that wouldn't... Don't touch... As fulfilling as a convers as fulfilling as a conversation with Sharpe might be, you can't talk to her in her current state. As cool <coughs> A contaminated waste items receptacle stands awaiting contaminated waste. It's some sort of medical unit. You don't know what it is. Don't touch Don't Rats, it won't budge. That wouldn't. That's an. I that would. You. <laughs> and you thought the fumes from lactose intolerance were bad. Hmm. You stuck. Don't touch that. Don't touch. Like. You. Yeah, you just can't get enough. That's d Don't touch. <coughs> Don't touch that. We. D That's not going to help. Move it, man. That wouldn't. Still got a fish. Yeah, but. That's. It would. It. <coughs> That's an it. Don't, don't, it would, that's, d it feels, that's not going, that's not going to help. You don't, it wouldn't be, don't, that's not going, that's not. She seems to be resting, she seems to be, she seems, a contaminant. It feels slightly gritty. You <coughs> it wouldn't. That's del. Not much. You look at it, but nothing strikes. This is the personal medical suite of the legendary Sharpe. She. This is apparently her dresser with glee. <coughs> Don't. You. It. You. Don't you don't you that wouldn't it wouldn't it feels that would that's delight don't touch that it And you thought the fumes from lactose intolerance were bad. Hmm. What can we do? These are supplies of a medical nature. These are supplies. Ah, a bucket. One of the staples of any janitor's arsenal. Control is like save and all that. That's a joke can. The old timers use it to fake the new interns into thinking they have sucking chest wounds. That's del. Don't. It. That. And that pressed on everything. That'd be. So. Don't. You can't pick up the towel. That would. It feels. It feels. It. Don't. It. It. You. That. Don't touch. Don't.
You give the piston a yank, and sure enough, it comes loose in your hands. Perhaps it was your raw strength. More than likely, it was defective. <laughs> It's the Crap-O-Matic Adjustable Piston. You get fingerprints. It act. Okay, got a piston. What was that do? That's not, that's not good. That's, you summon. As fulfilling as it. That's an interest. As it, as it. That's that's not it. You you don't that you that's not going. Crank that door open. Oh, maybe. Good thinking. Wedged in the door, the manual override control causes the piston to strain against the door. It pushes a few inches and seems to strain at that point. Wilco! Oh, hi, Stellar. What are you doing here? There's no time to talk, Roger. We've got to get out of here now! One... Two... Three! Just as you crash to the floor of the turbo shaft, the hydro riser piston gives way, and the door slams shut, with Stellar still trapped inside. You claw and pull at the seams of the bulkhead door, but to no avail. Just then, you hear and feel an explosion which seems to have come from behind the door. The door is sealed tight. You can hear no other noise after the ear ringing from the blast subsides. My God, I, I can't believe this. It can't be happening. I don't know what the hell's going she on. She was... Uh, I was... Stella! <sighs> what the f it's hard to believe that this is the Hollow Suite. The setting is much like the graphics you've scanned in the library from those planets more interesting in their climatic diversity. From the scenic jutting peaks, soft hills, and lake in the conjured distance to the lush, pixelized growth of trees, flowers, and grass in the foreground, the hollow deck has that sublime, park-like perfection. Unfortunately, its serene beauty is sadly negated by the headstones and the solemn event about to occur, the laying to rest of your rescuer and true friend, Stellar Santiago. You are feeling as you have never felt before, perhaps helped along by the relatively short stints aboard the various ships, as well as all too brief friendships, you've been spared the emotional devastation of true loss by lack of attachment. This, however, is a different feeling, far different from anything you've ever experienced. You can't help but wonder how you'd act towards Stellar given a second chance, but you know that can never happen. She gave her life for you, and you will never be able to thank her. I mean, Enough not really. Already. Let's funeral. Ladies and or gentlemen, we assemble she here put herself today in that to position there. You were about to get out. Lieutenant First Class Stella Santiago. Her unfortunate death takes place in the shadow of a new community. The dawning of a new life for the aged of our galaxy. Although death is never easy to accept, we must remember that the tragic accident which took her from our midst occurred while she was on duty. If a member of StarCon must perish for some reason, there is no more honorable way. It is part of the oath we recite, 
and take to heart when we pledge our allegiance. I believe her friend, janitor second class Roger Wilco, has a few words he'd like to say. Mr. Wilco? <laughs> Eulogy. Uh... I only knew Stellar for a short time. I wish I uh, could have gotten to know her much, uh, much uh, better. To have had a deeper understanding of this uh, person. I, I was proud to have called friend. Of my friend, I can only say this. Of all the souls I have encountered in my cleaning, hers were the most scuff resistant can we just end the game now <laughs> so no no other space quest after 6 eh surprising that's That's your relatively pathetic eulogy for Stellar. Okay. <laughs> right. Six bay four. Right, time to go home. It wouldn't be prudent to do that at this juncture. You summon the ability. Oh man, that was bad. Wow, a message for me. I must be getting popular. I wonder what it is. Roger. Help me. I only have a moment. They faked. Stellar, what happened? The picture's gone. You're alive? <coughs> what could it mean? It's interested only in its job. It It's interested only so we'll go see the captain. <laughs> captain. Commander Kilbasa. You're going to think I'm crazy, but I've just received a distress message on my compost. And it was from Stellar. Wilco, have you been whiffing cleaning fluid again? I'm absolutely as sane as I've ever been. She's being held on Delta Berksilon by Sharpay. Wilco, do you realize how irrational that sounds? We buried Stellar. You were there. Maybe you need a rest. Take a couple of hours off. Sir. We'll go. We have our orders from Starcon and we'll be carrying them out. Drop it, Janitor. Leave the bridge now, Wilco. I've made my decision. 
Janitor will go. You must have. Man. No respect from the captain. I mean, just check the message, Captain. Is that Silver Surfer? Hello, Roger. Please join me in consuming something. Thanks, Sydney. You seem uptight. Say what? Upright? What are you talking about, Sydney? Uptight was the word. Perhaps that is too archaic a reference for you. It would have been more effective to say that you seem concerned. Oh, uh, yeah. I think he's an uh, android. I do have a thing or two. Uh, well, at least something on my mind. I am sorry to hear this. I hope your concerns are soon alleviated. Thanks, Sid. I do have to come up with some solutions. Sydney, I have a favor I'd like to ask of you. Flame away, Roger. You know I'd give you my right appendage if you needed it. Funny you should say that, Sydney. I kind of have this situation where that very item could come in handy. Really? Well, I was merely saying that uh, metaphorically. You really are a great friend, Sydney. That'll come in real handy. I can't thank you enough, Sydney. Well, if you really are seriously in need of it, I suppose I could lend it to you. Wait, what? You will get it right back to me, won't you, Roger? What? Why, oh, why yeah. do we need an you arm? Bet your nut flanges, Sydney. I Guess why do we need this? <laughs> if you want, you want to explain that one to me, there, uh, Roger. Am I still playing the right game? Is this Space Quest Seven? Oh, I see what he's gonna do with that other arm. Time for a little private time for little Roger here. It would appear that Mer Don't try to get anything out of this machine. You'll only don't try to don't try to get you place a finger in the hole and Excellent guess, Cresc. Excellent no. Ah uh Okay. No. Why? Why do we need an arm? Bay. He ignores you. He ignores you. What did you expect him to do? He helped you, and it's time for you to move up. Your. I have no idea why I need this arm. <laughs> it's for a brunch. <laughs> oh no! Not like this. Cool. That's an ball.
That's an in... Don't touch... What's why? Why are they armed? It's the right arm circuit Sydney was so kind to loan you. But why? You get fingerprints. Nothing happens. See, most games. You look. Not. Okay. You can't detach that without a Zyquest torque phase shifter. And who'd want to anyway? You can't detach... Open up in there. Replicate. You have no... I don't... I don't know. Don't know what to do. Why do we have an arm? Why do we have a fish? Let's see that pretty little face. Impressive. It's a hovercraft for... You summon the... There's obtuse and very obtuse. What do you want from me, game? Wow, a message I want. Will go, where are you? You either get down to Delta Berxelon 5 now, or I will have you ejected into space. Is that understood, Janitor? Okay. I'm not going to read all this garbage. It's interested only in it. It's... 
I wouldn't try that if I were you. It feels... Don't touch... It fe It would... What? That would... I can tell you want more than just his arm. It feels hot. You pinch it. Okay. Don't touch that. Sydney, I kind of need another favor. I need one of your eyes. Pardon me, Roger. For a second, I thought you said you also wanted one of my eyes. I must have my auditory circuits diagnosed. Well, actually, Sydney, I, I could use one of your eyes. Are you certain, Roger? Well, I guess if you really need it. Oh, I do. I really do, Sydney. You're a mechanized lifesaver. You will return them soon, right, Roger? Oh, uh, of course, Sydney. Real soon. Listen, I've got a couple of things I've got to attend to. I'll see you soon. Uh, thanks, Sydney. As long as you say it will be soon, Roger. Oh, yeah. Uh, see you soon, Sydney. Roger, are you here to return? Soon, Sydney. Well, I do hope it's soon. People are starting to look at me in a strange manner. You got it, Sydney. So I imagine we're going to need to find a scanner and use his fingerprints. You can't detach that without a and an eye scan. Right? check my messages that's why I came here you give it a tap but any unassimilated subatomic particles from the transport process are deposited here this helps to keep the transporter pads dust free and don't worry they almost never have any problems with important parts not don't touch It's interested. That wouldn't. It's called a superstructure. You hardly fit the description of someone who could have the slightest. But then it is you. We're... Maybe I gotta release the ego. It's probably going to kill me the second I let it out. Now there's a real bright idea, but then perhaps you deserve the consequences. If the force field were turned off, you'd be the only one to suffer the consequences. In the event that someone might be looking over your shoulder, we'll save your embarrassment. The... That's del- Hmm...
It wouldn't be. There's something I need to do. You so It would appear that merging the. He ignores. You start to. It's a medibump. It's soft. Oh. Okay. It's a bottle of morphine. Okay. That wouldn't... That... It's a case of... I don't know what I'm doing. Help. You start to say something. You get a... Your words caught... You activate the level one pattern detector. Hmm. Game number one in a series sells 50,000 copies. Game number two in the series sells 100,000 copies. Game number three sells 150,000 copies. Game hmm. number four sells 200,000 copies. Game number five sells 250,000 copies. You're detecting a definite pattern here. What could it mean? Not on a bet. <laughs> you release an extra burst of... Hmm. Bring time fresh. Yeah, you rearrange the commander's chair and he'll rearrange you. You perform a quick structural integrity scan followed by a sweep for subspace particle emissions, and finish with a level three diagnostic. I like pushing the green button best. You activate, hmm, you're the, you per I like pushing the, Janitor will go, you must have something to clean up somewhere. Don't have the code for this, so... These are the holodeck program... That wouldn't... Magnum doesn't talk. You consider saying, I wonder why you don't worry... It would have. Oh, what if? It would appear. It prop. It would. It would. No. Okay. Uh, mmm, <laughs> a nice fatty donut, Mag. You know.
vulgar neck pun neck pinch is what you need. As cool boy. They don't even know. Oh, you serious? That's what I gotta do for real? Five 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 one two one two. Yeah, just a bit. I mean, I, I just had to read like 20 pages of data. Welcome to Hollow Sweet Program 5551212, the Vulgar Nerve Pinch. Despite our reputation for being pacifist, we Vulgars have developed an extremely practical martial arts technique used mainly for defensive purposes. It is called the Vulgar Nerve Pinch. This is a tactile oral maneuver in which the applier pinches the bundle of nerve fibers at the base of the neck while whispering into the victim's ear dialogue from either Tango and Cash or Hudson Hawk. This particular combination of nerve stimuli and loss of cerebral control due to the torturous mantra of movie dialogue results in a searing flash of pain and then unconsciousness. In effect, it is similar to a temporary orally induced robotomy. Victims are soon rendered unconscious for several hours. When they awaken, they will remember nothing of how they came to be unconscious, if they are extremely lucky. I shall demonstrate on my most eager volunteer. You will please to pay attention. Address the subject in this manner. Please to notice the location of my hand as I begin the narcotic chant of cinematic morphine. He mutters something thankfully unintelligible into the ear of the volunteer. Oh, thank you, sir. Maybe you can affect me up with your sister. I can follow up. Oh, no. oh, oh. We're going to have margaritas together. Oh, the two of us get ho ho. We have fun. Oh, get a hubba hubba going in the wee. And then blues like that. We ho ho ho. So, as you can see, it is very effective. If you can apply a proper grip to the neck, it will disable nine out of ten neck bearing species. This completes our program. Think of it. All right. I think, uh, I think we'll be done for today. Hopefully we'll be able to finish this game next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. And, uh, you know, we might do this, uh, do some more tomorrow. We'll see. See you later, guys.